He's Mike, I'm Jamie. Together with our friends with Sorted Food and this is Fridge Cam. And this video is gonna suck. <laughs> Today, we're making profiteroles. <gasps> oh, if you hang around for afterwards, you're gonna get my dad joke of the week as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be great. Some classic profiteroles. Yep, inside a gorgeous coffee creme pat, oh, but also some. a crisp golden shell on the outside, and that's the shoe paste. Well filled. And so it should be. So the guys have randomly selected who will partake in this challenge. They have strapped themselves to some remote control electric shock devices and we will give them a vague set of instructions for these coffee profiteroles. We will test how much they've learned in 10 years of us teaching them, giving them a tiny shock each time they make a mistake. You know, to help them learn from their mistakes. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt, it's just a tiny pinch. So first up, the shoe pastry. We want something that is golden, crisp, hollow so you can get plenty of filling in there and they need to know the method. We want real careful precision piping. They should be uniform in size, in shape. Squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull. And you want to get a full 40 out, so you want to fill the tray nice and efficiently. I'm now going to step aside. I'm going to let you do this. You've got the power. I have far too much oh, fun here. I don't here. know if I'm going to enjoy this. You're going to love it and don't forget you get to pick Chef Special at the end who you think did the best job and there's another task at the end. I hope one of them does a good job. Guys, you've, you've made We've made rolls before. Shut up, Evers. With a real chef. Yes. With a real chef, yeah. Yes. But shoe pastry is the single worst thing ever to try and remember how to make. What did you preheat the oven to? 180 degrees Celsius. Mm. We're going to heat this water up and we're going to add the cubed butter and the flour. And I think it's the flour, because you, you cook that, or you have to cook out the flour, don't you? Yeah. And then I think we add in the eggs. But we beat them. One by one. Yes, yeah, slowly. With... <laughs> A drip of urine just came in. <laughs> he just put all the butter out with his finger like this. I didn't push that. <laughs> he <laughs> deserved that. Can you keep that going? Yep. Flour. That. Do that. I think we just add four eggs in, yeah. one at a time. So what's next? Um, pinch of salt in, then uh, these in, bit by bit. <laughs> ah! What was that for? What I would do, so as definitely not to scramble the eggs, is to transfer that to a bowl. He <laughs> 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 tried to hide the word. Really, you should, you should melt the butter into the water, take it off the heat, flour. Beat furiously. We did, but we were also cooking the flour out at the same time. You argue with me. <laughs> I argue with yeah. Right, add the salt in. One egg. So far, it's really impressive. They're doing well. Katie's asked me to shock you so you can take a picture. So that she can No, do... Katie. <laughs> Have you turned <laughs> that up? Katie missed it. <laughs> oh, what's that for? So your technique is <laughs> straight away is you to hold the piping bag vertically. I'm not sure I even got to get to that position. You weren't going to, I could tell. Oh, you can't You were you doing that, you were doing what that. I was gonna do and sh shock me. <gasps> yes, mate, up. Yes! I don't think it's shock worthy. I think at this point, we let them fill the tray and see how they come out of the oven. What do you mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> do you not see anything wrong with that? What? Okay, my placement could have been slightly better. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, there's some pressure here of the fact I've got an electric... SHUT UP! Oh, that's my <laughs> So I think you deserve a shot for each one of those pipes and you've had three so far. Do you know what I hate about this format just as much as the shocking? Yeah. Is Barry Taylor sitting there like he knows how to make... I know, tiles. I know. It's unbelievable, it isn't is it? It is ridiculous, the level of arrogance that comes along with it. <laughs> now, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I know! It's got to go in there for some time. <laughs> some time, and we need to figure out. What temperature is the oven? It is at 180 degrees Celsius. <laughs> oh! My knee. You guys are having a shocker, aren't you? All right, shall I just go out with the time? Shall I just say it? I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. 30 oh, minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not 30 minutes. 
20 minutes. 20 minutes. Right, milk. Heat it up. Pan. Vanilla extract. I think you heat the sugar, don't you? Mm. Ah! Ah! Definitely don't heat the sugar. Then, five egg yolks. What time did you say before you put them in the oven? 15 minutes. No, 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 no! No, put them back! Why? 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 We're opening them. <laughs> yeah. well, we're steaming them at 15 and then shutting them. <laughs> ah! Good. So another five minutes. This is in. <laughs> what are you doing? I am trying to stop you messing up a creme pat. How are we doing this? Let me put the milk in there. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry, but I'm just I'm just trying to stop you messing up a creme pat. So the hot, the milk doesn't go into the eggs? Not yet. Sugar goes into the eggs? That's what you said. That's what I was just about to do. Okay, all right. So why am I getting the shock? I had nothing to do with it. Trying to get everyone to stop what they were doing. <laughs> my left eye hurts. Yeah, my <laughs> left eye keeps twitching. Bit by bit, we're going to pour the milk into <laughs> Fuck! I disagree, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> this is watching, like watching a bunny rabbit cross a motorway. We have corn flour left. We do. That's truth, actually. I can't get shot for that, because that's a fact. What if we put the corn flour in that? Good job. We don't need those big whites. What I could do is save them for an omelette another day. Could you shock him? <laughs> Why? Why? Egg white omelette. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee essence to flavour. So once that thickens up into a sieve, get the lumps out, then into a bowl. Cling film over the top, and we will rest that in the fridge for a good amount of time to cool down. Our creme pat is set up, our profiteroles have cooled. Yeah. We now just need to get that in these. I feel like we've lost the friendly atmosphere. We have, we? Yeah, I wonder why that could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What? Barry wants layers of- Barry can- Dip them, get them over and done with. And I don't care how many times I get shocked, I'm just going to end up gripping this even harder, so. As we discussed earlier, mm -hmm. Jamie has done very well. He has, In this he video. Has. He made an excellent um, shoe pastry. But- And kind of saved that from going disastrously wrong. I'm, I've not been impressed by his attitude. Mike's been consistent throughout. Yeah, he's he's he asked, has. again, less questions, just got on with it. So whoever doesn't get shocked is chef special. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> so there you have it. These are our coffee cream profiteroles <laughs> with a little help of aversion therapy sorted. Now we have over a thousand recipes um, on our website that we've done. Which one should we visit next? Like the video, comment down below and let us know. These look good. <laughs> <laughs> they are fantastic profiteroles. That is delicious. The creme bat is on point. The chocolate on the outside is smooth. The pastry is nice and crisp. I really, we did a great job. They're really good. I'm, I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. These are absolutely delicious. Get the full recipe on the Soy Beans website. <laughs> I'm really going to pee my pants. Well, an outcome of the video is that I definitely know how to make profiteroles now, and I hope as a second hand experience you also do now, because otherwise that was absolutely pointless. So, fridge cam comes out on a Sunday. Yep. Uh, people tend to get kind of the Sunday blues, thinking ahead to the, the week ahead, and maybe not looking forward to it. So, Jamie's dad joke is the remedy for the Sunday blues. It is. Okay, hit me. Okay, I've, I've, I've got my phone because this one's a bit a bit bit longer. Oh, you're gonna have to okay. set the set the scene. Okay, so one day two avocados who were best friends were walking together down the street. They stepped off the curb and a speeding car came round the corner and ran one of them over. The uninjured avocado called 911. It's an American joke. Uh, and helped his injured friend as best as he was able. The injured avocado was taken to the emergency room at the hospital and rushed straight into its surgery. After a long and agonising wait. The doctor finally appeared. 
He told the uninjured avocado, I have good news and I have bad news. Which one do you want first? And the uninjured avocado said, I'll have the good news first. Thank you, sir. Well, the good news is that your friend is going to pull through. So, thank goodness, that's, yeah. that's great news. What's, what's, what's the bad news? He said, well, the bad news is he's going to be a vegetable for the rest of his life. I hope that cheers up your Sunday and I hope you have a fantastic week and we'll see you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday. Goodbye. <laughs>